Now to a disturbing story. A dog breeder is dead and his expensive puppies are missing with no one in custody. The Clear Creek County Sheriff's Office is investigating 57-year-old Paul Peavy's death as a homicide and are now searching for 10 of his Doberman puppies. Peavy was heard from last Monday and was reported missing Wednesday near Two Brothers Road, just outside of Idaho Springs. His body found Saturday by a search party made up of friends and family. Alan Janae, your reporter of the Foothills, joins us in here tonight. And Alan, what can you tell us? about this man that lost his life. Well, Paul Peavy had friends who cared and who worried about him, and they said he cared for the dogs he raised as well. They are European breed Dobermans, and their value just might be the motive behind the killing of a man who lived alone deep in the forest above Idaho Springs. It was down this remote road, a long journey to the place where Paul Peavy lived amid his dogs. A man who made friends easily and was proud of what he was doing to breed valuable animals. Oh, he, he was a really good, I mean, better than the rest of us. Bruce Boynton was a friend, so close that when no one had heard from Paul, he worried and went to visit his friend last Wednesday. Doors open, puppies gone, the place is tossed, everything of value is missing. What started then was a series of errors by the sheriff's office, admits public information officer Jenny Fulton. There were some missteps in, in our initial reaction and response to the report that came in on Wednesday evening. The sheriff's department did little until Thursday when they finally sent a deputy who saw that Peavy and the puppies he raised were missing, but did little looking around. Boynton and others finally organized their own search Saturday morning. We got up there and it didn't take you long. Maybe four minutes. To find the body of Paul Peavy. It looked like a homicide. It was obvious. Uh, partially buried, I understand. Yes. Yeah, it's, it, it hit close. It hit too close to home. Yes. Meredith Matsudis is a fellow breeder who mentored Peavy. Shaken by his killing, she is thinking about the value of the dogs as a motive. They could run anywhere from $4,500 to $10,000. But there could have been more. He was selling dogs, so there's money involved. Mm. And he might have had cash. That's a very good possibility. There remains a question about delay. Do you think you missed clues or the potential of finding things that you ultimately didn't get to when you got there later? Um, I'm not sure if, if we would have. Boynton remains frustrated, but hopeful the killers can be caught. I'm a little upset that I didn't get taken seriously. Nothing I can do about it. None of it's going to bring Paul back. Now, the sheriff's office tell, tells me it will conduct an internal investigation on why they had so many failures, including not joining the search on Saturday. And they are now asking that anybody who recently bought a Doberman puppy to have it checked. It could lead to suspects because the 10 stolen puppies were all microchipped. They say they're reaching out to shelters and vets to stay in touch. They also want to hear from anybody who communicated with Paul Peavy to buy puppies dating back to June to account for puppies from the same litters that may have already sold. Yeah, you think there'll be more coming out on the story for sure, Alan? It, it, it seems like there may be some clues here and a pathway. Of course, they're doing things like checking phone records, right? right? If right. somebody wants to go see puppies, they're going to contact him, right? right. There could be a reasonable path of clues and also the sheriff's department needs to look at its own work as well here. All right, more to come, hopefully. All right, Alan, thank you. Now, Alan, of course, is your reporter in the foothills. He is committed to covering stories like this one in your neighborhood. So if you have a story idea for him, please reach out online or over the phone.